and welcome back to Cock Creations. I haven't recorded in a while, but um, here I am back again. I've been doing a ton of knitting and um, a whole lot of other things. I'm enjoying um, <clears throat> figuring out what my priorities are, figuring out what my priorities are, and um, just thought I'd get back into this again. I recently finished a new um, sweater for Tim. It's the Dustland sweater by um, Stephen Wes. I really love how it turned out. It's knit in um, Barocco Ultra Alpaca and I just found I like the short rows at the collar here. They're really lovely and I love that every you do a different section every about eight to ten rows and that really kept my interest on the sweater. Um, the other thing that looks really good on but seemed weird when I was knitting it was this long cuff. It's like insanely long, but it really fits nicely on. And if you want to push the arms up or something, it really looks good. really like how that's coming out there. You can really see the different patterns that are used here. I also use the cast off. Oops. You see here the stretchy cast off that um, uh, Stephen West recommended. There's a really great tutorial on how to do it um, in his book. I loved, I used, I got um, Arnie and Carlos is um, needles that I used to knit this. And they're, they're really neat. They're kind of plastic needles. They have a neat tip on them. I didn't bring them up, but I'll take a picture and show you later but they are really great if you're knitting the Norwegian way or continental to pick up the stitches for you. So that's really good. I have to try and make sure that that light doesn't reflect off my glasses. <laughs> Oopsie. Um, so that's my finished object that I really wanted to show you. I started working on a um, lace weight cardigan that I'm really loving and I've been doing a whole lot of finishing up whips that I've had around. So I had over 35 whips that were all over the place and I've been working on on finishing those up and that's been been really great for me. Here's the Antelope Island Scarf by Virginia Catterall. I really enjoyed knitting this and it kind of gave me the confidence to cast on Maram's cardigan. Um, I love lace work and the lighter the yarn, the more beautiful the work seems to be. I did lots of socks as well. I've been um, knitting quite a few vanilla socks. I had to update some of my collection for myself and then a bunch for presents. I also did a lot of hats for my nieces and nephews and some new babies in the family. And I made a beautiful hat for myself with Quivet, Alpaca, and Merino. It's so soft and warm. The other thing we did this week was we had a, a full eclipse. Um, on PEI. So Tim and I went out to Rustico and we watched that. So I will put in a couple of pictures here. It was really neat. We just spent an hour on the beach um, and watched the sun change. It was only 30 seconds of totality where we are. If we had have driven up to um, West Point or North Cape, it would have been longer totality. I start here with a picture at totality and then go back to us sitting waiting. We um, took little glimpses up as the sun slowly disappeared. 
but quite enjoyed just in the beach as we slowly waited for the sun to become covered. I tried to get pictures of the weird lights in the sky, but they didn't turn out very well. Although once I took a picture at totality, I'm really pleased with how that one turned out. It was perfect for, for where we were at. And um, th there's something about a full eclipse. It's just another worldly experience that I quite, quite enjoyed and could see becoming an eclipse chaser at some point, but realizing that that may not be logical. I'm not always logical, but... And as for books I've read, I am currently reading Burnham Wood for my book club. Um, I'm only less than a chapter into it. It seems interesting so far. I don't know a whole lot about it. It wasn't my pick for book club, but um, I think it will be interesting. I'll have to um, delve a bit deeper into it. We just finished reading Walk Away, which was quite intriguing, especially as I was teaching um, Intro to Psychology 1020 this semester, which talks a lot about social psychology and um, how development, how that works for development of people and development of societies. And Walk Away just was really interesting in that there is a set society but once you're in a particular level there's no kind of movement and so some people who get to a point where they can't make enough money or they're not at the level where they want to be by when they should they walk away from society and it's kind of an open system um, outside of society where people can contribute and get goods, but without money exchange. And um, if there's conflict, they tend to walk away from it. And this lack of investment and ownership of things um, really changes how people behave. And I really enjoyed the exploration of that change in behavior of individuals. So it was really fun. Um, I would recommend it. I, it took me a while to get into it because setting up the universe, I didn't quite understand what was going on. So it did take a bit, a bit of uh, um, time to get into it. And then there's time jumps in it that are not as clear as maybe I would like them. But Overall, the concepts were great what-if concepts, so I really enjoyed that. I've also read the first three books of the From Blood and Ash series. Um, my friend Melissa recommended them. I really enjoy them. They're a nice light read with fantasy and romance kind of together with a nice adventure story. Um, they're a nice... A nice um, break and a great read. I'm, I'm on the War of Two Queens right now and enjoying the series. I'm going to try and start posting every month here um, and I'm just glad to get back into it and I just wanted to throw myself into it because um, there's never going to be a good time where I feel ready to come back but I really am missing podcasting. So here we go. Great to see everybody again. Welcome back.